Hello and welcome to Being Frank on Ipswich Town with me, Frank. Not my wife, uh, Rung, she's otherwise engaged today, but your kind sentiments will be conveyed when I see her tomorrow. In the meantime, Teddy Bishop is moving from... Uh, <laughs> this is a strange one, from League One to League Two. He's leaving Lincoln City and he's moving to Colchester United. He couldn't agree terms with Lincoln, I think, and his contract was more or less terminated. But he's on a two-year deal. He's 28 years of age now, can you believe? 28 years of age. Doesn't time fly when you're enjoying yourself, and sometimes even when you're not. And a Liverpool under-21 team beat an Ipswich under-21 team 5-2 today in Kirby on Merseyside. I know that Ipswich are losing uh, quite big at one stage, but they did claw a couple of goals back, including a penalty. So that at least was uh, encouraging. I don't know who those goal scorers were. If you've any idea, please drop them in the comments below. Now, uh, Sam Morsi has said that he thinks Ipswich will do quite well in the Premiership and surprise a lot of people. And the reason he's saying this, or the reasons, is our work ethic and uh, Kieran McKenna. He said that all the players are totally committed day in, day out to improve their skills. And if we can get a few new recruits between now and in 10 days' time when we take on a Liverpool full-strength team at Portman Road live on uh, TNT at 3 o'clock kickoff, then uh, you just never know. But with regard to that, uh, Jens uh, Kojusta, or Kojusta, I don't know how you pronounce his name entirely, uh, he's Swedish, uh, playing for Napoli, Ipswich are interested, but so too are Brentford. It looks like he's going Brentford's way for about £10 million now. So another missed opportunity for town. And with regard to Sammy Smodix, according to Alan Nixon, who's usually quite a reliable source, Ipswich are only 500000 quid away from agreeing terms with um, Blackburn Rovers and if that's the case it may happen sooner rather than later let's hope so because we really do need at least two midfielders ideally one with uh, premiership experience as I mentioned before and another winger or attacker and um, Wilson Odebert talks to continue with, with town but they're a long way away from Burnley's uh, evaluation at the present time but we live in hope that we could get him and we really do need players as the clock is ticking. OK, we'll leave it here for now. Well, I'll leave it here for now. <laughs> Thanks, as always, for tuning in. And I look forward to the pleasure of your company again tomorrow, ideally with Rung. Up a town!